Welcome to MDB365. Today we'll be showing you guys how to adjust V-brakes. Now I know a lot of mountain bikes are moving towards disc brakes, mechanical disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes, just because they're that much better at stopping. But if you buy an entry level mountain bike or a kid's mountain bike, then chances are it's going to have V-brakes. So it's a valuable skill to know how to adjust them and service them. So what you'll need for this is a set of Allen keys. So the first thing you need to do is determine whether your brakes are too tight or too loose. So right here we're going to be adjusting the front brake. You can see here that brake is almost, when I push it all the way, it's almost squeezed all the way to the grip. And if you look down here, it's barely even impacting the rim, which is not good. I mean, I know this bike's really old. I found it on the street and I was going to fix it up and sell it. But these brake pads are really worn down. So you want to make them as close as possible to the rim in order to achieve maximum braking power. Yeah. Barely touching the rim. So the next thing you want to do is loosen this right here. This is going to release the, the brake cable in order for it to be tightened or loosened. So the cable's off here. That's that has released the brake pad here from the rim because this is what was holding them together. Once that's released from the rim, you can determine how tight you need it. So if you want to tighten it, you pull this string tighter than it originally was. But you have to be careful because if you pull it too tight, it's going to be touching the rim. And this wheel is not 100% true. It's taken quite a few impacts, but you want to get it as close as possible to both sides without having the brakes run. So and look at it from both sides, just adjust it accordingly. Again, it's up to personal pre preference how tight you want your brakes. I normally want at least two fingers there. See, this one's almost touching the grip. That's, I mean, it's a matter of preference from rider to rider, but I would generally recommend at least two fingers worth of clearance between the side of your grip and the end of your brake lever. And that's how to adjust V-brakes. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you have any requests or ideas for another video, you can put them in the comments down there. You can email us at d.c.mtb365 at gmail.com. This is MTB365.